Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar then we'll run through the latest from the UK Met Office run have a look at the five day precipitation and temperature as we do have showers around over the next few days but we do have a warming trend and by the end of this working week in towards the weekend it's quite likely areas especially in the south and the east get temperatures into the low 20s 21 22 degrees is very possible um, elsewhere widely in the high teens if not getting up into around 20 degrees we'll then have a look at the mid-range look at the gfs gm eastern df and the ensembles as we are seeing a very interesting development now we have had a warming trend over the last three or four days and today we are seeing proper signs perhaps of a heat wave coming for the middle of may now i must stress there is a lot of uncertainty with this we're a good 10 days away from any of these charts coming off but both the gfs and the ecmdf operational runs are showing a proper spanish plume pattern um, low pressure out of the atlantic high pressure to our east pulling up direct southerly winds 15 degree isotherm getting in real hot air and the ensembles on both of the gfs and east of F runs have increasing temperatures where well, with quite a significant number going above the 10 degree isotherm getting temperatures perhaps in the mid to high 20s perhaps even 30 degrees on the gfs run so do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure to like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the links in the description so we'll have a look at that potential for very hot weather towards the middle of the month in the second half of the video. But we'll start by having a look at the live radar. And you can see at the moment we do have quite a lot of cloud around um, and a few showers. Now they're not quite as widespread as the model uh, of the UK Met Office run was making out yesterday. And that's something we have seen consistently over the last couple of weeks it's in these terms of shower activity. Um, the UK Met Office has sometimes overdone it a little bit. There is still plenty of showers around. They're not quite as heavy and, as I said, as widespread um, as uh, we thought yesterday. But across northern England into parts of Yorkshire, there's quite heavy showers breaking out. Elsewhere, just some patchy, lighter showers through Scotland as well. Now, if we do have a look at the temperatures, you'll be able to see... Um, as of around 3pm uh, that I'm recording this, it's not too bad. Best temperatures are in the far east, across the East Anglia, into, into parts of um, East Midlands, uh, down into the far southeast, potentially getting up towards 17, 18 degrees. Elsewhere, more blues mixing in, so temperatures are a little bit down, uh, and that's as we've got a bit of a cooler air mass coming in and stronger winds. You can see across the northeast as well, pretty chilly with a breeze coming in. And across Scotland, it's uh, a little bit chilly over the higher ground as well. So it's not too bad. Generally, most areas are around average. Areas in East Anglia slightly above, and you can see across the northeast, slightly below average. So it's not too bad um, weather for bank holiday Monday. But as I said, if you are under those showers, it probably isn't too great. But majority are missing out on them. So we do have a look at the UK Met Office run. Have a look at the precipitation temperature over the next five days. Now, you can see the shower activity forecasted by the UK Met Office run a lot more widespread than we are seeing on the radar. You can see a few dark, uh, sorry, lighter colours there, greens, yellows, reds, showing heavy torrential rain and the potential for thundery activity. We're not seeing that in the showers and they're not quite as widespread as, made, as being made out here. So that is something we do need to keep an eye on as we run through the next few days. Beyond that, generally those showers linger a little bit through the evening, and by tomorrow morning we can see more heavy showers break out in the far south and southwest by tomorrow afternoon. Now, they do look, once again, heavier, more widespread than today, uh, and could be thundery as well with those brighter colours. So perhaps there is a sign for some heavy showers in the far southwest, across southern Wales and central southern England, into the far southeast. But we do need to take that with a pinch of salt. As I said, sometimes we are seeing the UK Met Office run overdo it slightly. Elsewhere, further northwards and westwards, we are seeing some showers come in off the Atlantic, some more persistent rain for parts of Northern Ireland, heavier pulses within that. And through Tuesday evening, that precipitation just moves in as we do have lower pressure further northwards. Through Wednesday, another very showery day, especially the eastern side, heavy, thundery showers breaking out. Again, I doubt it will be this widespread, um, but... The potential is there. The energy is there on Wednesday. But the reason why these showers are getting more, uh, more widespread and heavier is because we have warmer air wafting up from the far south southwest within high pressure building in. So you can see by Thursday afternoon, the south is completely dry. A few patchy showers with some 
thicker cloud, further northwards, some precipitation moving in as low pressure is to the north of Scotland, but a warmer day on Thursday. And that's very similar on Friday. Precipitation in the north to the south, dry with warmer conditions. So, as I said, over the next three, four, five days, it does look pretty showery, um, quite widely initially, and then more exclusively further north, so we could even see some more persistent rain through Thursday and Friday. So if you do have a look at the temperatures, you'll be able to see that it is warming up. Now, today, you see those temperatures across East Anglia, max around 17, 18 degrees, but in only a few spots, mostly more around 12 to 15 degrees. Beyond that, into Tuesday, you can see those temperatures rising slightly, 16, 17 degrees in the south, more widespread, 14, 15, 16. And again, we see that continue into Wednesday, with those temperatures getting up to perhaps towards 17, 18, 19 degrees. Again, more widespread, more yellows spreading further northwards, parts of Southern Ireland, potentially parts of Scotland as well. And far northwest, though, cooler with more precipitation moving in. And as I said, by Thursday, Thursday's going to be quite a warm day for that southeast quadrant for quite a lot of England, around 18 to 20 degrees, maybe 21, 22 degrees is possible in the East Midlands, into parts of East Anglia, maybe the London area as well. Further northwards, only 10 to 14 degrees, much cooler with precipitation moving in. And very similar for Friday as well, getting up towards 17, 18, 19, 20 degrees and across the southeast and generally central England, further northwards, much chillier. Hopefully, though, we do see drier conditions slowly take over from the weekend as high pressure does build in. So we do have a look at the GFS run. Um, now, the next few days, uh, well, it's five to seven days, pretty consistent. It's beyond that where we are seeing these heat wave conditions perhaps starting to creep into the model output. Again, I must emphasize, this is oh, there's quite a lot of uncertainty, uh, uncertainty with this, and it's quite far away, so there's no guarantees, but it's looking like a potentially quite likely scenario. So we do run through because the high pressure is building at the moment, but the centre of the high is still to our southwest, so we've still got a bit of unsettled conditions, a bit more energy in the air. That's why we're seeing these showers crop up. As we head through Tuesday and Wednesday, you see low pressure to our north, and that's driving some showers and more persistent rain in the north before high pressure does build in by Saturday and Sunday, firmly at the top of the country, turning things much drier. So as you saw there, by Thursday and Friday, there was quite a lot of precipitation in the north, but it should settle down towards the weekend. Saturday, Sunday should be much drier and more warm as well. So this heat wave we're talking about in the middle of May, potentially, it's got nothing to do with the warming trend we're seeing at the moment. Um, this warming trend has not changed at all, uh, as we've been saying over the last few videos. It does look like towards the end of this working week, into the weekend, all areas will get warmer, potentially towards the low 20s. It's beyond this, though, as we head towards day 10, you see low pressure trying to push in from the Atlantic, and it could bring some precipitation and some heavy thundery showers in, initially. But, you see this big high pressure just to our east, centred over parts of Germany, um, into parts of Eastern Europe, and you follow those isobars, and it's coming all the way up from Spain and Africa, with this diving low pressure system, this is a typical Spanish plume type pattern, and it does hold on for quite a period you follow those ice bars just straight southerly winds for a good few days four five days would get really hot with that if we do run it back and have a look at the air masses just quickly you'll be able to see we potentially get a 50 degree ice firm in which is over africa at the moment so real hot air getting in and that sort of ice firm in the middle of summer mid 30s in may perhaps high 20s maybe touching on 30 degrees as we'll see in a minute so we do move beyond that, you see relatively warm air masses pushing in towards this weekend, getting up towards 5 degrees at 850 HPA. So pretty decent, above average in terms of upper air temperatures, temperatures into the 21, 22 degrees perhaps. It, as that high pressure builds to our east, start wafting up the 10 degree isotherm up from the south, and then we see the 15 degree isotherm right towards the end of the run, starting to move into the far southeast. Real hot, hot air. And as I said, Look at that temperature deviation, potentially looking at 10 degrees, maybe 10 to 12 degrees above average. Really quite hot. Um, and again, if we do zoom in to the United Kingdom look, uh, if we go to the 850 HPA temperature first, zoom into the United Kingdom look, you can see the 15 guys firm is just to our southeast, really hot. And again, if I put on the 2 meter temperatures um, and we do run it back, you can see by 17th of May, right at the end of the run, I must emphasize, 
29 degrees in the far southwest and widely low to mid 20s really warm heat wave conditions for may in the summer this wouldn't quite reach heat wave capacity but it would be well above average would be very warm not quite heat wave um for uh, but it would be for a few but not widespread but being may we're seeing these temperatures it would be a widespread heat wave so really really quite hot and you can see across europe across france really really blisteringly hot so again have a look at france you can see widely high 20s low 30s potentially 33 degrees in the south of france really hot indeed again it's one run though but as we'll see it has got support from the east mdf and the ensembles so do you have a look at the gm run now the gm run does something slightly different than we'll have a look at at day 10 um, it's not too dissimilar from setting up something really warm but it doesn't quite get there as we'll see now so you can see high pressure building in over the next couple couple days quite warm upper air temperatures but low pressure is more active to our north towards the start of next week and although we start to build that euro high we don't see the dip in the jet stream so it's more of a flat west to southwesterly wind still getting mild or warm air into the far southeast but not a direct southerly wind not as dry um especially for the north as you can see across northern scotland getting to below freezing at 850 hpa whereas the far south getting above 10 degrees so yes still showing warmer conditions heat wave conditions potentially in the far south but not quite as widespread and would be more temporary with cooler air masses ready to come in off the atlantic and again we emphasize that by having a look at the temperature deviation you can see really hot just across france but much cooler in the atlantic and as you saw with the pressure patterns the jet stream is pretty active coming in from a west to southwesterly direction so bringing that cooler air mixing it in so it wouldn't be cold for the uk or cool it would just be generally around average more likely and in the south could get a little bit warm when we tap into these warm hot air masses just to our south so gm run a little bit more in the middle and probably would be more active in terms of showers and thunderstorms also i should have said with the gfs run so we had a look at the direct southerly wind we see any bit of instability in that that's where we see big thunderstorms popping off so that's also something we do need to keep an eye on but there's no real point looking at this stage until we know the, the exact flow and the exact pattern um, which we won't really know for guarantee until maybe three four five days out so that's something thunderstorm activity we'll have a look at if this does come off perhaps in the next five to seven days um, that's what, what we'll be having a look at so we do now run on to Eastern Blue F run, as we'll see this does follow on from the GFS really quite well. Now you see the high pressure building in over the coming days, turning things drier and warmer for all. And then we see that high pressure build to our east, low pressure diving out to the Atlantic, not quite as much of a direct southerly wind, but there is a much larger area of warm air masses pushing up from the south. 15 degrees firm across northern France, heading into the UK, 10 degrees firm taking over. And this would be going blisteringly hot. And if we did run this on another couple of days, we would see we're really in heat wave like conditions. A 20 degree isotherm is in parts of Portugal and Spain. Really hot indeed. Look at the temperature deviation. 10 12 probably 12 plus degrees above average wafting up from africa tremendously hot so you can see for eastern parts of africa and southeast europe it's much colder than average because of course whenever you get any hot air going up you always get it coming down again somewhere else uh, around the globe so real hot air potentially wafting up there from the ecm wf run very interesting that's very similar to the gfs at day 10 so we do have a look at the ensembles. So we start with the GFS. So around average at the moment, warming trend over the coming days. So by the weekend, it's slightly above average. Towards the start of next week, we do see a slightly slight dip towards average, slightly cooler air mass potentially coming in there. But I'm expecting anything too crazy with that. And then we see above average for the right until the end of the run. But, as I said, around that day 10 mark, 10th, 12th of May, we see quite a few runs going towards that 10 degree isotherm. The GFS run, one of the warmest runs, consistently really getting up towards the 15 degree isotherm. So, Operation Run from the GFS was on the warm end, but it wasn't a complete outlier. We have quite a few, I'd say a good third perhaps, a quarter to a third, well above average towards that 10 degree as further heat wave like condition you can see the mean is a good three four five degrees above average regardless um and you can see there are a few runs going cooler but nothing crazy cold yeah there's a couple complete outliers rushing the end of the run getting down to minus 10 degrees at 850 hpa no chance that's coming off but 
it's still there sort of skewing the mean a little bit you can see though with precipitation there's no massive precipitation spikes but there's quite a few uh, quite regularly so a lot of shower activity that's the only one caveat with this yes with the southerly plume it will be warm it will be hot if we do see it come off but it most likely will also produce showers and storms when it does break down if we also have the two meter temperatures, you can see the longer term that GFS operation run mid 20s. Now, again, the ensembles don't do um, these sort of conditions particularly well. Uh, they do underdo it a little bit, but you can see the average from the ensemble is getting towards 19, 20 degrees quite widely over the next couple of weeks. Uh, yes, some cooler days, perhaps down towards 16, 17 degrees, but the majority days it's getting up towards 20 degrees. So quite a warm couple of weeks potentially setting up here. Uh, and you see the operation run is slightly higher resolution. That's why right at the end of the run, it does stick out um, being much warmer than the other ensembles. But that's most likely what we'd see from those sort of air masses. So yeah, looking really warm. Now, if we have a look at the ECM at WF front, see if they do back it up in some of the ensembles, and they do, generally. Now, so a warmer trend over the next three, four, five days, slightly cool around the 7th of May, before it returns well above average, good 3 degrees, 4 degrees above average for the foreseeable future. Now, there are more ECM WF ensembles, so there are more going much cooler, much below average, but at the same time, there's quite a few more going well above, quite a lot, 10 to 15 of these ensembles, maybe a third going for that 10 degree firm some even getting above the 15 degree ice firm towards 20 degrees at 850 hpa again if we saw that in the middle of summer end of june july time early august we most likely would be stretching the uk temperature record getting up towards the high 30s being may with these sort of upper air conditions most likely mid to high 20s perhaps reaching that 30 degree mark somewhere in the far southeast getting that warmest air mass in again wind directions will make a slight difference but you can see in the longer run both the operational gf uh, ecmwf and the control run are amazingly hot really hot um, around day 10 and beyond so ecmwf majority are what warm and average and quite a few are much much hotter than average Yes, still a lot of precipitation spikes, but again, small, so shower activity. If we do finish up, have a look at the two meter temperatures over the next couple of weeks. You see in the longer term, quite a few getting above that 25 degree mark, some getting towards a 30 degree mark. And we can't say with any certainty what's going to be happening with that until it's nearer the time. Because again, all depends on cloud amounts, exact wind direction, because of course, you get a bit of a sea breeze, can hold those temperatures down a little bit. But the ensemble mean is in around that 20 degree mark and i'd expect once we fizzle out some of those colder outliers those obvious colder outliers not just some around average but proper cold outliers getting out some below freezing at 850 hp which is a big outlier um once we eliminate those, the mean will probably be around that 21, 22 degree mark for the highs. Um, so that's um, what they're showing at the moment. And of course, these are low resolution ensembles, so it's most likely going to be a few degrees warmer than that. So we've got to keep an eye on this. Now, it's not guaranteed. Um, there is uncertainty with this, but there definitely has been a warming trend over the last three, four, five days. So I'm not surprised now we're starting to see some real hot runs appearing. Whether it gets as hot as the GFS and the Eastern Earth operational runs, we're yet to see. Would it be somewhere in the middle uh, in terms of being sort of mid-20s? Highly likely. Whether we reach that high 20s, maybe 30 degree mark, that is something we do need to keep an eye on. But for the time being, it does look like it's pretty bang on now. It's going to be warmer than average towards the end of this week and start of next week. And beyond that, as we head into the middle of May, all signs are heading towards some proper warm summer-like weather. Could potentially even reach heat wave levels for May. So we'll have to keep an eye on it, of course. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy your bank holiday Monday. And I'll see you again for another video soon.